Hi, this is Tom Gramenio. We're here at the opening of the Monologue Collective, which is a uh, manifestation of a regular series that we do at Gallery 270, the 21st Century Handmade Print. All of these nine artists have each of three pictures on display showing vintage techniques from the 19th and the 20th century. We've got carbon pigment, which is from 1864. We've got platinum and palladium, and we've got handmade silver gelatin prints and beautiful work by all nine of these artists, which strikes at the heart of what Gallery 270 is about. Thanks everybody. We're here with uh, Jim Fitzgerald, member of the Monologue Collective, also known as Carbon Jim, because he makes these carbon transport for prints, which is a process that dates back to 1864. Um, we've got three of Jim's photographs here and a fourth one, which is an 8x10 format. Each one of these represents a different handmade camera that Jim has made to be able to accomplish these pictures. So this is an 8x10. This is a 14 by 17, which is the camera that's next to Jim right now that he made this camera. Takes about a year and a half for a camera, Jim? Yeah, it, it can. Yeah, it can. Okay. Generally a little less time than that, but yeah, okay. it's taken me 18 months on my okay. first one. All right. And this is a panoramic format, so this is an 8 by 20. Correct. And this is an 11 by 14. Correct. So these are all contact prints. These are all carbon transfer prints. Yep. And we'll take it from there, Mr. Fitzgerald. Okay. Okay. Well, as, as Tom uh, so graciously said, I, I'm a camera builder, uh, carbon transfer printer. Uh, I also do fine press edition books uh, with handmade carbon prints in them. Um, and I've been uh, creating carbon transfer prints uh, for the last 17 years. And uh, when I found this process, um, I was fascinated by the history behind it because it's the first uh, permanent printing process on paper and the archival quality of carbon prints are unsurpassed. Uh, I don't think they really know how long they'll last, but they're virtu virtually timeless. Uh, it'll, they'll last forever. Uh, outlive me. For, uh, by, by a few by, generations. By thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you make a great carbon print, it's going to be around forever, and you make a lousy one, uh, you better it's be cut around it up forever and destroy too. it because it'll be around forever as well. And, and so the first print up on the top here is an 11 by 14 uh, carbon transfer print. And uh, that was shot in uh, Point Reyes National Seashore uh, along the California coast just west of San Francisco. Um, the middle image was shot in uh, Yosemite Valley uh, and that image uh, drew me in because of the backlighting. It was shot in October uh, and the backlight is just incredible when it filters through these oaks. And I knew it instantly as I was driving along a main road exiting the park and I stopped and set up and uh, I was stopping traffic. You were, huh? Uh, because people were stopping and looking at what's going on out there. Yeah, you set up one of these monster cameras and you do yeah. attract the crowd, you I guess. You have a crowd instantly <laughs> and want to know what's going on. So my wife was kind of directing traffic during this, this, uh, this one here. And this image, the 14 by 17 image, is uh, an image from the Eastern Sierras in, uh, in California. And uh, I was with my oldest son at the time and he helped me carry my gear to the location uh, because we had to scramble through some brush and up the side of a mountain and you know find the right position 
and uh, the contrast in the scene is what really drew me in. The light was on the trees, the background uh, was in shadow, and it really, the image just popped. Uh, you it's couldn't go wrong. Image. It was They're, just yeah. set it up and make sure you you don't screw up the exposure. And what kind of trees are those, Jim? Do you those know? are aspens. Those are aspens. Those are okay. aspens. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. famous aspens. Yeah. They're, they're they're so beautiful. And and so it uh, it was it's challenging to work with the cameras that that I use. Um, and fortunately, I'm the type of photographer that gets drawn into the light. I'm able to set up quickly. Uh, I don't have to think about setting my gear up, and uh, I usually shoot one exposure, and I'm fortunate I get all the information I need on that negative, and then and then I can I can print it. Yep. And yep. so the printing process, as Tom said, dates back to 1864. You make a handmade emulsion, and then expose the negative to ultraviolet light, and then do a underwater transfer and mating substrates together, and then you develop you develop these prints, which are made with a gelatin solution, uh, you develop them underwater. And people go, well, wait a minute, you don't use a traditional developer? No, my, my developer is water, hot water, develops the print. And, and what, I, what I would like to add is, you know, the esoteric part of the, the process yields something that you can't get with any other print because Carbon transfer prints have a 3D kind of raised, uh, relief. raised relief. The the shadow areas are built up emulsion, yep. and the highlights are valleys. So yep. if you did a topographic view of this microscopically, you're yep. going to see all sorts of hills and valleys. So absolutely. So that is the look that Jim is going for, and that's why these are unique and he's gotten stuck in this unique process, which is really unlike any other. So yeah. we really appreciate Jim being here and absolutely. coming all pleasure. the way from the West Coast and, it's and been joining so us. It's so much fun. Everybody out here is absolutely the best. So I'm really appreciative to Tom yeah. uh, Such a pleasure. for having and me out. Finally, three shows and I finally get to meet yep. the guy. So yep. fantastic yeah, it's time. Been, it's been a great time. Okay, Tom, thank, thank you, Jim. Yeah, appreciate thank you very much.